Hey, Jen. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's been a debate that's been ongoing for some five years. Legislators here in the LOB, which is in front of me, are still wrestling with the idea of whether to legalize recreational marijuana. And as you may know, Governor Lamont gives it a thumbs up. So I think it's time for Connecticut to do this on a very regulated basis. Otherwise, I don't want to also surrender it to the underground market, which is really dangerous. And the governor notes that several neighboring states have already legalized recreational marijuana. Look, right down the street in Massachusetts, it's legal. People are driving there. I see Connecticut like I'm told you would see Connecticut license plates at the dispensary. Tony, I'm looking at this legislation from a doctor's lens. Dr. Saud Anwar was among several Democratic state senators to vote against the measure. Among his concerns, the minimum age proposed. 21 is too young based on medical studies and their long-term implication, 25 is a safer age. Another concern, a combination of people drinking alcohol and smoking weed and their decision-making capacity when they do so. The legal limits of alcohol do not remain relevant if somebody is also uh, consuming um, uh, cannabis. And he doesn't like the fact that this bill only calls for 15% of the funds generated to be used for prevention measures. Our collective history of the tobacco prevention money that has not been used for tobacco prevention. The governor says the subject of marijuana legislation is interesting to him. When it goes to a vote of the people through uh, some sort of a referendum, it passes overwhelmingly. When it goes through a legislature and a lot of telephone calls are made, it slim or doesn't pass. And if it doesn't pass the legislature, Lamont believes it will end up in a referendum. I think there's a way to make this safer. And uh, each community, as the bill is presently constructed, the bill that passed out of the Judiciary Committee, each community, again, as of now, would have the power to determine if they want a retail marijuana store in their community. We're going to keep tabs on this. As the governor said, it'll probably be a couple of more machinations before it either is decided in favor or against or it goes to a referendum. Keep tuned in. We're live here at the Capitol. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. Still